This whole happening over Riken and coming into NASCAR has stirred up a hornet's nest. The first commentary I put out on it had more views and arguing from across the world than anything I've ever done on video. I have been cursed out in Swahili and Appalachian, and I assume it was cursing because I couldn't read any of it anyway. I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com's NASCAR edition. Here's the deal. Get over yourselves. All of you from Egypt, Georgia to Cairo, Egypt. I get this letter, NASCAR drivers will be humiliated by Raikkonen. This is what a crazy European wrote me. I'm sure this guy sits in his mama's basement in his underwear playing video games. I get another one from North Carolina. Formula One drivers can't drive. Anyone can win in a Ferrari. Well, I got a sneaking suspicion. He too is in mama's basement, probably without his underwear, and his arch gaming enemy is the aforementioned European. Here's the bottom line. This week, Raikkonen matched Bush's time exactly. He can drive. Bush can drive. They can all drive. And none of them would be in the equipment that they are if they couldn't drive. At the core, everybody should settle down and enjoy what Big Bill France always wanted to happen. That was to make NASCAR a global sport. It's become that. You can't change it. Why would you want to? You want to race against the best drivers in the world, whether you race Formula One or NASCAR. Here it is in a nutshell. If you think Formula One winners can't drive, you're stupid. If you think NASCAR winners can't drive, you're stupid. And that is that. I'm Michelle Rahal for Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com's NASCAR edition. I'll see you next time.